Hi everyone, my name is Marissa and welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Wife, where we talk about all things money, budgeting, paying off debt, side hustle, all things personal finance. And today I'm sharing with you the five things the debt has robbed from my future. And I know the title may sound a little bit depressing, but I will say that there definitely is hope. And my husband and I recently paid off over $87,000 of student loan debt in about two and a half years. And I'm so glad that we paid it off. It was so worth it, but still debt kind of sucks. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the five things that we kind of haven't gotten to do in our lives because we did have debt. But I also want to note that there definitely is hope. So if you have debt and you're trying to pay it off, keep going, you've got this. The sooner you pay it off, the less of a big impact it's going to have on your future. So keep going and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on paying off debt, personal finance, all that stuff. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that debt has robbed from my future um, was actually starting my marriage. So I got married right out of college. I graduated college in May and my husband Jacob and I got married in July. And so for that little gap um, of just, you know, two months, two and a half months that we had before between graduating and getting married, we were working our tails off. And that was because we had student loan debt and we knew we wanted to um, be really smart about it and just be paying off our debt as soon as possible, which was definitely the right decision, but mind you, it was hard. So right out of college, um, I worked literally, I graduated on Saturday and I was at work on my full-time job on Monday. And so I worked you know, every single day up until the wedding, up until a couple days before the wedding. And it was definitely what was needed because I was able to make some extra money while I was living at home and pay off my debt um, that much faster. But I will say that it was hard because all of my friends who were getting married the same summer, they got to take time off and were just fully planning their weddings and just really enjoying that time. And for me, I was at work every day downtown doing my thing. So it definitely it does have its consequences. And that was pretty hard for me during that season of wedding planning. The second way the debt has robbed my future is with traveling. Um, there are so many millennials and so many friends that I have who travel everywhere. They go on like European backpacking trips. They've been to Africa, Asia, South America. Do you know where I've been? I have been all the way to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and down to Ensenada, Mexico. That is as far as your girl has traveled. Um, and so I'm not super well traveled. I've been to a few places in the United States. I you know, will say as a kid, my parents did take us on vacations like to Hawaii or Florida. I've also been to like New York and California, but no big like international trips or anything like that. And with having debt, we didn't get to do any of that, um, especially in that season for the first two and a half years of our marriage as we were paying off debt, we didn't travel, we didn't go anywhere. And that was the time when all of our friends who were graduated were going to Europe and like having the time of their lives and we sat by and watched all their photos on Instagram while we sat at home and watched Netflix. So that is definitely a bummer about having debt and paying it off. And I know during that whole time that we were doing the right thing. We couldn't afford to go on vacations and we knew that it was so much more important for us to be paying off our debt instead of going on vacation. So I definitely don't regret that we did. And now in this season, we do get to travel more. Uh, we just finished a trip to Hawaii, which is so much fun. And we are going to Disneyland in December. So we do have some things coming up. The third way that debt has robbed my future is with buying a house. And you guys, I'm not going to lie, this one really hurts. Um, so my husband Jacob and I got married in July of 2015. And then we, you know, we already knew about Dave Ramsey and we were working the Dave Ramsey plan to paying off our debt. And so with that, we knew that we needed to pay off all of our debt and save for our emergency fund before getting a house. And I am beyond so happy that we did. The only issue with that is that we finished paying off all of our debt in October of 2017 and um, have since then piled up a bunch of money to have as an emergency fund, which we recently funded in May. And I did a video on that, so I'll go ahead and leave a link up above for you to check that one out. Um, but we are done with baby step three and we are working on saving for a house. But the problem with that now is that houses are beyond so expensive. And while Jacob and I make an average American household annual income, uh, if you'll say, for middle class, 
we cannot afford a starter home in our area of Portland, Oregon. Um, everything is so expensive right now. The market is so high, and it just feels like we totally missed our chance. And if we would have bought a house a couple years sooner, that also means if we would have been debt-free a few years sooner, um, we would have definitely been able to make it work, and housing prices were in a lot better affordable place. But right now, it is too crazy. So we are renting, and we are not sure how much longer we will be renting. But um, we will not be buying a house if we can't afford it. So we will rent until we are fully ready. And we really want a house so bad. But for right now, that's just not going to work. Um, and unfortunately, that is the price that we paid of having student loan debt right out of college. The fourth way that debt has robbed us of our future is with having kids. And again, this is a really sad one, <laughs> um, but Jacob and I are not in the financial place that we want to be right now to have kids, and we wish that we were. Um, and again, that's very similar to the house thing of thinking about um, having kids. I mean, it's totally okay if we had a kid in our apartment. I mean, we have a second bedroom. I know it would all work out in the end if you know that did happen and we want kids so badly. Um, but we also want to be very financially responsible when um, we do have kids. And I'm sure a lot of you know, babies themselves aren't very expensive, but the most expensive thing is definitely that child care cost or if a parent decides to stay home. And we could afford neither of those right now. Um, and so it just makes it kind of hard um, with planning that, but we so want a child. Um, and unfortunately, that's just not going to work. But if we never had debt in our lives and we just had three years where we saved all of our money and we were able to buy a house and do all those things, I'm sure we would have been ready to have a child by now. But unfortunately, with having $87,000 of student loan debt, we were not able to do so. So we are definitely looking forward to having kids in the future um, and knowing that it may be just a little bit longer before we are financially ready to do so. Now, the fifth and final way that debt has robbed me of my future has been with my entrepreneur dreams. Um, I write a blog at thebudgetinglife.com. I'll leave a link below. And I also do this YouTube channel and a few other things. I love being an entrepreneur. I think that it's the most fun thing to build up your business and you know work for yourself and be able to set your own time and grow something that's totally yours. It's super exciting to me. But with having debt, that is not like a, a sustainable thing that I was able to do uh, for those two and a half years. And it would be crazy if I would have quit my job to pursue some entrepreneurial dream when we had so much debt. Um, and so even though we are debt free right now, I just think it's so hard to take that leap. I do still work a normal 40 hour um, a week day job. And then you'll find me doing YouTube and blog stuff in the evenings and on the weekends. And while I'm very busy all the time of doing a lot of things, um, this is something that I really would love to pursue. And if that main goal is to uh, just quit my full day job and pursue this, that would be totally awesome. Even if I was able to work part time and do this kind of thing, I would love that as well. So I definitely wish that I could have done this sooner and taken that leap. But I also knew that with having student loan debt, it wasn't the smartest decision for me to just quit my job and pursue some big dream. All right, you guys, so those are the five ways that debt has robbed me of my future. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned when I post new videos and hit that bell notifications so that you'll be sure to be notified. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. In the comments down below, let me know of one way that debt has robbed you of something in your future. Um, I know that sounds really depressing, but I think that for anyone else who hasn't gone into debt yet, it is such a great reminder of look where you could be if you didn't have debt. Um, and so I want to just convey that to you guys. If you don't have debt yet, don't do it. Just don't do it. It's totally robbed so many things of your future. And it means that making a decision to take on debt now doesn't allow you to do things that you'll want to do later. And so don't do that to yourself. But if you do already have debt and you're working on paying it off, again, you got this. You can do it. Um, paying it off as soon as possible is going to minimize the consequences of things in your future. So um, I hope that this is at least a little bit of an encouragement to you. I know it's still kind of depressing. But, but with that, we will start doing a lot more positive personal finance videos um, coming up. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.